All right, guys, I'm outside the restaurant. I got takeout because there's a long line, probably at least 20, 30 minutes wait if I ate inside. So what I'm gonna do is just take a few bites of this burger and the mac and cheese. Um, and I got this amazing ambiance behind me. It's some type of high class, uh, I don't know, office space with all this architecture. But I'm gonna take a couple bites just to give you my first impression review and then call it a day for the video and then I'll eat it myself off camera. Uh, so first the mac and cheese. Now I will say first impressions, it kind of looks kind of small. Like you get a small cup of mac and cheese and then a burger. I'm sure it's better plated and aesthetically pleasing when you put it on a plate, but mac and cheese, I would say middle of the road. It's definitely not bad, but it's nothing I haven't tasted before. I think they do add some pepper into it, which is unique. But yeah, it's, it's a type of mac and cheese that's like mushy. And everyone has their taste. Some people prefer the mushy one. For me, I had like the more hard, thick type that Chick-fil-A has. But I've seen videos where people complain about Chick-fil-A when they review mac and cheese. Okay, the Wagyu burger. I think this is some type of very premium Japanese beef. Uh, I have may have never tried it, only tried it once or twice, but I've heard about Wagyu. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Mm. Not bad. The beef, while it tastes like the seasoning of, you know, your typical Five Guys, the inside is just a bit softer and it just breaks in your mouth. Mm. Honestly, I quite like that. Um, have I had burgers of this caliber before? Yes. Um, is it something to write home to mom about? No, but is it pretty darn high quality? I would say so. Something about the meat. The meat is just a little different. It's like a Five Guys burger on the outside, which already is high quality meat. But then on the inside, um, you get a uh, kind of soft, substantial feel or taste to it. And then you got the lettuce and then they coat it with this type of sauce that's very subtle. It doesn't really have much taste, but it has a little bit. It's almost like a, I feel like it must be Asian sauce because it's like very subtle in flavor. And then they have this thing on top, which I think is some type of deep fried uh, avocado. So that is kind of unique, but it really just tastes like uh, deep fried onion, but with avocado in the middle. So not too many fillings or stuff outside of the beef but the beef is pretty decent as well so how would i rate this i'd give it a solid 4.5 out of 5. not the best not the worst would i get it again yeah maybe one day once in a blue moon but for 16 dollars it's still on the expensive side so I probably would stick to more like lower, a little bit lower end stuff like Shake Shack, uh, Burger King. Um, but if I wanted to treat myself, maybe this is something I would get.